Welcome in Catfish P tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create a Docker environment for our CACPHP application with MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So let's proceed. So here you can see I just created a folder in my computer that's called CAC Docker. I'm going to create here three files. First one is called Docker file. So you can see I just written the first word in capitalize and uh, it's, a, it's, it's a capitalized word docker file no without any extension and the next file that I will write docker compose dot yml file and I will create another file called make file and then I'm just opening the docker file so here I will write some instruction to create a docker environment so for CAC PHP we require the PHP and also we require it's actually support also 8.1 and the minimum version is uh, for 7.4 and uh, for CAC PHP required the MB string and INTL extension and also the PDU extension that's required so we'll um, create a docker environment uh, with this uh, all required uh, um, environment that we require so let's proceed we require also the apache the http server that we will create with, with the apache so first we will use a image that's uh, with the cac with the with the php and apache so both we are able to find from the php image from 8.1.0 apache so if we just write this line it will just uh, create this uh, uh, environment with the PHP and Apache and then we require to define the work environment so I, I will just give the environment call var www html it will be in my container in docker container and the next we will just uh, on the URL enable the URL rewrite mode and I just given the command for enable the rewrite code and next we require some Linux library uh, for uh, use the INTL extension for example uh, to uh, update and also to install Linux library we will use here the apt-get so here is the command apt-get update y and apt-get update uh, install y and uh, for go to new line I mean here and here I will use first the library ICU that's this library actually required for INTL extension and here we will use the MariaDB library for our MySQL and uh, MyAdmin and also you will use the unzip and zip this library and uh, next uh, we can uh, use the uh, PNG and JPG library uh, if you were use uh, the uh, any PHP uh, any upload P if you using the any upload in your project for example file upload like PNG and JPG so let give this PNG and JPG library also in here okay so this library will create and then we also require the composer so this is the composer to install the composer we will you create the latest composer and uh, install the latest composer and then we will just install some uh, php extension so for example for run by using the run command we will install some extension first that we have uh, we will install the intl extension that is required and then we will uh, install the pdu mysql extension and we also use the gd extension for image uh, upload and also if you want to crop and other things in image and this the uh, perfect and next thing uh, for J jpg image and uh, png image uh, uh, if you want to allow this uh, 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 for your application we require to configure the uh, 
enable GD and with the free type JPG and also the PSP extension install this command. So okay, so we just used here the free type, so we, we need to we require the free type in here also this library. Okay, this is the some common library that we we have used. The next thing we will create the three container in here. First one is for our application, for example, for example, our, for our CAC PHP application. The second one is for PHP uh, my admin, and another is for my SQL database. So, so here I will just write here the services, and I will create the three services. So let's give the my service name is CAC uh, expenses. For example, is for example a expense management system and there is the first container name that I'm going to here so give the container name CAX, CAC expenses okay and next we'll uh, give here the build command in here so build so if you just give this build after I give a space I just given here the dot sign so it's actually meaning it will search your docker file when it will create this environment in the same directory so that's why i have given here the uh, mentioned the same directory after give this uh, period sign and then we will mention the volume so volumes uh, volumes actually will uh, uh, will uh, sync your local data with your container data so when the um, when you will change something in your local host it will automatically update in your container so for example uh, we'll just uh, make a directory in here called cac expenses and uh, this directory is actually your host local host directory and the second it will your uh, container directory so here i'm going to give the bar www dot HTML is your container directory and I will mention here the port say in which port I want to run it so here by default I will run it for example 3000 port and I will mention this 80 port default port will will run in 3000 port and the same time I will create a folder in here with name the CAC expenses and next we require the another service in here called mysql so we'll use here the mysql db and here we will use a docker image so here we, i have also used the docker image in here and also here i'm using here docker image so you can say that where this image actually coming from it's actually coming from dockerhub.com this website so it's almost like the git something uh, pupil has created this image and uploaded in docker hub we are just using this image in here okay however so mysql db here we are going to use the mysql latest version but i will recommend always to use a specific version because uh, it may you will use this mysql uh, or this application after five years so if you use this mysql latest it may be will uh, uh, your application it may will not run so however for this tutorial i'm just uh, using this uh, latest uh, and then we'll just give here the environment so environment that we'll set for example mysql root password that i'm sa setting the root and database name it's optional but you can create a database name for example i'm just creating a database name called cac expenses and also i will mention here the port so by default my will actually run in port 3306 so we haven't changed just we have mentioned here so if you want to change you can change it in here but i'm not changing now and the final thing that i'm going to here though using the php my admin so php my admin is also the optional if you want to use a admin panel for your mysql 
database that you can use for that for this reason you can use the php my admin so it will run in 9001 i will change it to 3001 port so i'm going to save it so now you know that you require to give a command in here it may you know so docker compose build this command actually you require to build this uh, image but to, in this tutorial we will use we will create some make command so if you are using um, um, mac that there, there, will, there is no need to extra any settings but if you are using the windows then it, it may that you, you require some extra setting for implement the make, make file command or make command so i will say you can uh, if you face any problem to implement this make uh, command then you can just give a um, give a search in google you will get some um, settings to for your uh, windows machine uh, and then after solve that then you can use this so i i usually um, now i have no any windows machine available so i'm sorry that i am not able to see you that how you can implement any windows machine so if you're using mac that i think there will be no any problem to implement this make file command so first for this command we can create a easy make co uh, command here so for example build that i just given here and i just given here the for this build command that the command that i have written in here we can just copy and paste it in here so docker compose build we also able to uh, add here the two extra flag for without cache and force rm before uh, running this uh, application and the second we can uh, use a app command for your image container app when you uh, build this uh, um, common when you build this uh, image then after building complete the build and you can up this uh, up your container and also you may require your uh, container down okay so for that you can create a down command also and also you can <coughs> up and for example you wanted to build and up boot you wanted to create by same command so you also able to do by a for example you need for uh, for setup simple setup we require the build and also the app i know that bo both command you can give by the same command composer build up that's you can do in here also you can add the multiple command like this okay i know that you can all you are able to build an app by a single command but it's for learning you can add the make build and it will first run it will this common and after that it will run this one and also you can use the composer common for example in many time we require to update our composer uh, for update our vendor file so you can create this composer common like that and uh, here you have to mention the your container name so my container name here the CAC expenses which I will use here the CAC expenses common and after access this uh, container it will give the composer update command so you know if you want to update your composer update command you require to access your docker container so here actually it has access in your docker container and then it has given this command so that's it so so now we haven't installed CAC PHP so you can see so i'm just going to command this one now and now first i just just set up this environment that already we have okay so here i'm going to create the make setup command and hit on enter we'll just wait some moment in here So you can see that it's actually install everything.
so it's actually successfully um, you know installed everything and also you can see that uh, my uh, CAC expenses this three image is actually running so if you just go and just see your 8000 port you should see uh, something like that that this site cannot be reached so we'll install the CAC PHP first so to install the CAC PHP we will access the docker container so so here's the code docker exec it and cac expenses and fish so if you just hit on enter you will see that now i am in actually in docker container so i'm not in localhost i'm in docker container so here i will install the cac php application and here is the in, in installing uh, how you can install cac php using composer I'm just going to copy this uh, code and uh, paste it in here and uh, I will install it in root directory that means in HTML directory so when I will install it it's it will automatically it will just uh, sync with my this folder so it will install in also we'll see the changes files and folder also in our this files and folder in, into this folder so let's hit on enter so you can see that in my container it's actually installing in the same time uh, the sync actually happening in here okay so we are just installing a page pin here So it's actually installing in the same time let's go in uh, uh, in, in another directory okay we actually 3000 port i'm just given here 8000 so this is the 3000 port you can see nothing in here and in the same time let's go in php my admin let's see that it's running or not so this is the php my admin so now the question that how you'll access this one so we have set some password is root and the user by default is actually root and that will be the this mysql underscore db that will be actually your server name so this one and the root and password will be the root so now click on login you should access you know php my admin so here is the database that actually created without any table so let's see that's what's actually happening in here so it's actually i uh, want to give a permission i'm giving the permission so now we see that everything has set up so now if you just uh, see in your 3000 port so you should see that cac php has installed so now if you change your app local uh, config app local this file uh, so I'm just going to change here the username host and here is the local host we will change the local host to mysql underscore db this one and username will be root password will be root and database name will be cac expenses I just copy and paste it in here so now save now just go and reload your page so you can see my database has connected so it's a simple tutorial that how you can install cat php using docker with uh, mysql and phpMyAdmin. thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next tutorial